Hello folks, I'm back. Maximum RD and it has arrived. Yes, the missing link. The last final piece for the Atari 5200 and the piece that seems to have been uh, the source of a lot of uh, ill feelings a lot of contempt and resentment and uh, possibly at times when it was working well a lot of joy but uh, yeah definitely the most controversial piece of Atari 5200 equipment this now makes the circle complete I have everything I need to properly play and demonstrate the Atari 5200 games. This has arrived from Best Electronics. Best Electronics, your one-stop source for all your classic Atari needs. I don't know why I felt like doing a commercial for them, but uh, what the heck. So, here we go. Ah, let's bleed the guts out of the package. <laughs> there we go. Well packed. And I'm giving you the best view I hope possible this time around. I'm actually looking through the viewfinder as I film this, so none of that you're holding it too low or you're holding it too high. Crap. Here we go. Well, as we can see, there it is. This is what will allow me to play all of my games as they were meant to be played. And again, going back, for those of you who have the experience, and uh, you know that the Atari 5200 controller has been a major, uh, major source of uh, problems for many. This is from Best Electronics. Yeah, it costs a little bit, but the overwhelming majority of experienced 5200 users informed me. Oh, cool, a Best Electronics catalog. Definitely be having a look through that later. They informed me that, yeah, I could go on eBay, hopefully finding an Atari 5200 controller. There's even ones that claim to be refurbished and fixed, but in the end, they may have been cleaned up, they may have been tested, etc. But the problem with these controllers, from a lot of research that I've done and a lot of questioning that I've given people, uh, people who know the system far better than I uh, did up to this point, will just say that there was many innovative aspects to this controller but the downside is with all the innovations that were put into this controller it almost seemed as if Atari back in the day were uh, while they were breaking new ground and using innovative ideas there were some compromises that were made at the time. So, to be clear, this is from Best Electronics, as I mentioned. It is what they list as a gold refurbished 5200 standard controller. Um, so what's been done uh, simply is the, uh, from my understanding, if I get this correct, I believe the contacts that uh, allow you uh, to uh, press the numbers, uh, use the keypad, and I believe the directional, um, the directions, the contacts inside have been replaced from the original uh, uh, contact sheet to a gold-plated um, contact sheet, not only giving you uh, better uh, connectivity or connectivity how you would say it but in the long run giving you a laster longer uh, la a longer lasting controller hopefully that's the thing with the original design even brand new 
uh, uh, it would not be long that after some use uh, I would definitely start experiencing uh, problems uh, they would it would wear out uh, within a unreasonable amount of time leading to much uh, frustration and hate and uh, which you know uh, is understandable the uh, the legendary status of how bad these controllers are uh, is attributed to the fact that they do wear out very uh, quickly um, so my understanding is before I have a chance to test it also that it's a non-centering joystick you see that like it doesn't just snap back into place I mean it kinda goes back in into place simply because of this rubber uh, base here kind of pushes it back into place but uh, internally unlike a, a standard let's say the old Atari joystick or even a d-pad uh, it's not really going right back into place as you can see it's just kind of being pushed there by the rubber base so what this means is uh, for some games that's just fine uh, but for games where you need to make sharp turns at, at a moment's uh, decision apparently let's say Pac-Man turning around a quick corner so if I'm going up uh, you know with a regular joystick it would just center and you'd be ready to move in your next direction but basically if I'm pushing up I have to push it down or push it left uh, to change direction uh, I know that sounds kind of odd I mean obviously you always push in the direction you want to go but uh, and I'm explaining this very badly and I apologize but basically you have a non-centering joystick so you have to be very direct about which direction <laughs> that you want to head to it's not going to center and it's uh, apparently uh, a way of playing games that does take getting used to and it does work better with some games than it does others so enough babbling from me uh, any of you experienced Atari 5200 uh, users uh, can chime in please give your comments um, uh, or perhaps uh, explain better what it is I've been trying to say here um, I'm sure you can <laughs> but uh, looking at it uh, overall it seems to be in quite nice condition as you can see um, yeah it uh, definitely feels uh, different from a typical joystick but uh, again it will it will be determined on how if, how effective uh, how effective it is on the Atari library of games one of the innovations having a start and pause and reset buttons right on the controller itself doesn't seem like a big deal nowadays but when you think back in the days when this system came out uh, that was quite innovative so pretty cool and the last thing I'll show you is uh, interfacing an overlay here's CBS Electronics uh, Mountain King so as I described in my look at the overlays you would just pop that sucker in and now see like right there it says challenge skill level uh, you have um, access to different functions now if you're playing on a computer keyboard or you know the same game on a computer of course you'd have your computer keys um, so again kind of uh, innovative for the time I mean look at the soccer look at the soccer keypad right there so look at all the options low kick medium kick high kick switch players uh, uh, okay they're also all these are switch player probably for the different uh, players on the team select ground kick change option um, if you want to get even more complicated than that look at the layout for Star Raiders this one's pretty crazy so Star Raiders for view aft view scan galactic chart tracking shields shields attack hyperspace manual uh, abort game select you know I mean that's pretty uh, that's pretty uh, complicated set of uh, instructions that obviously you you know you couldn't have 
on just a, a regular joystick. So, and of course, you know, the overlay concept is the same thing uh, found on, on other controllers for, like the ColecoVision and the Intellivision. Um, but, uh, yeah, basically you're incorporating the, uh, you know, the details and functionality and uh, uh, depth that you would get uh, on a computer game using the computer keyboard and having it built right into your controller. So obviously the thinking basically, uh, you know, for the Atari 5200 at that time is to have more complex games yet have all those complex commands and uh, controls right at your fingertips. It's too bad, um, you know, it's almost as if if you had this yet just built in the standard old Atari self-centering joystick, um, then maybe you wouldn't have had all those problems and complaints over the years and this wouldn't have gained its status uh, as being such a such a bad controller but anyway as usual i've yapped on uh, far long enough um oh i also hear the fire buttons are are not exactly a joy uh, with prolonged use or again that uh, there's problems with the uh, longevity of the original controllers but uh hey I, uh, you know, I took the advice of many past Atari 5200 users and the suggestions and they said, you know, um, well, as I started to say, you can pick up refurbished or uh, apparently uh, fixed, uh, you know, controllers on eBay, pay a range of different prices, but in the long run, uh, if they've just been cleaned and tested, they're going to end up wearing out just the same, but having the, the gold contact uh, replacements that you get from the refurbished version from Best Electronics is uh, worth it in the long run and should last a lot longer. So I wanted the full and hopefully best possible Atari 5200 experience. So so I've I went for it. I got the uh, got the refurbed controller and uh, stay tuned for in future for of course actual gameplay, testing of games, testing of the hardware, and uh, and all that good stuff. Okay, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, Rob out.